Many investors have been asking, what's happened in the tips market? Tips were unique in that even before the coronavirus, there were geopolitical events that were having an adverse impact on inflation expectations and valuations through the oil market. Once the impact of the virus was more well understood and as societies and economies started to shut down one after the other, obviously tips went through this unprecedented global demand shock that was seen and felt throughout. On top of that, during the peak of the chaos there in the middle of March, there was a flight to cash on the part of investors. And so tips, like a lot of other segments of the market, saw technical selling pressure from retail and institutional investors alike, and that also impacted valuations. If you look at inflation on a forward basis, the decline seen in the first quarter was seen going back to anywhere from crisis or pre-crisis days as low as 1% in five-year forward break-even, briefly even sagging below in the middle of March. As the economic impact of the virus spread its way deeper and deeper into financial markets, both monetary and fiscal policy makers reacted around the globe in unprecedented fashion. In the U.S., the Federal Reserve has bought over $100 billion worth of tips in the secondary market since the middle of March. And at the same time, we've seen a commitment from fiscal policymakers to provide support through spending and other initiatives in order to combat the influence of the economic seizure that has taken place. Overall, at this point, the impact on the TIPS market and other sectors of financial markets has been a recognition that we have to cope with historic declines in economic activity. Now, the hardest hit sectors, airlines, hotels, and the like, actually pass through to inflation expectations and the pricing of inflation-linked bonds relatively swiftly. And so we've seen that demand shock feed its way into the pricing of tips markets in earnest. Right now, we also note that in reaction to this, the impact has been to take real yields lower and in some cases negative. Remember, negative real rates have been a phenomenon in Europe going back nearly six years now. And when you look at rolling three-year periods of return, they have always been positive over that entire time frame. This is because over and above the coupon income that is realized from owning an inflation-linked bond, the investor also receives the benefit of inflation accrual as over the life of that bond, the impact of additional inflation is added into the principal amount of the bond held. Why is now a good time for investors to consider tips? Three reasons stand out. Number one, against almost every way that you can value them, tips are quite cheap. You can look all the way out the maturity spectrum, 30 years, and you see the inflation expectations are well beneath policy objectives. Number two, the technical backdrop of central bank support provides a good environment from a supply-demand perspective. And number three, we see an unprecedented commitment from policymakers, both monetary and fiscal, to support economic recovery out into the foreseeable future.